We're good at that with Dolph. Wait and see. Oh, look, no one's made any money from gold by, by rushing. And here's the, oh, uh, the oil trade. Hello. And um, <laughs> here's this gap I keep talking about back in March, right? And uh, interesting because it held it, it rains it in here for a while. And it's just popped back in. Top of the range, bottom of the range, top of the range, bottom of the range, all based on this previous gap. Weird, 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 weird. No, it's not. Okay. It's not weird. It likes levels. Oil likes levels. It's yeah. boring at in that regard. It's just finding out the right levels to trade it to. Um, but it that 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 is as it is. But as you saw on Friday, it did react very neg negatively to to Trump positive testing of coronavirus. That's just all there is to it. If you flick across and have a look at Brent, I can tell you it closed below $40 a barrel and um, yeah, that has 39, for a while. 39 20 is it on Brent at the moment? Yeah. Um, XBR. There it is. Well, well, XBR, XBR US 39.21. There you go. And it hasn't nice. been down there for a few months, as you can see, and it closed below $40 a barrel. So... Yeah. Now, the predictions for that is to go to 35, which is also sort of somewhere just below that little level that seems to be coming down, but looking around the $35 mark or 34.74, okay. or just a bit bad. So that's that's prediction on, on Brent, but we, so we Brent, normally talk yeah. XDI. Um, yeah. And XDI is... is one of the things that was announced also on Thursday, um, as you can see, it's also a seller's bar on Thursday, was that OPEC agreed this week to um, further unwind production cut, cuts beginning of January. So they're talking about chucking another 2 million barrels a day into the market because they all had to take this hefty, hefty... Remember back in May, they had to take this hefty cut and they all screamed like, pegs but the thing was you know the world was shutting down didn't need oil we had all this surplus and then we went to um that horrible horrible place um sorry march not not may march and they're talking about putting it back in now there's a lot of alice that they're talking about it but surely they've learned their lesson from the past <laughs> and they won't and they won't unwind the cuts let's see because we've got to remember that um, January 2021 is not that far away. That is Believe it or not, that's a, there's a scary thought, isn't it? Yeah, My look, goodness. it's um, yep, yeah, that is that is true. Sorry, Angie, yeah, just sorry. Uh, checking on uh, where I'm going from here. I don't mean to be looking away from the camera, but uh, I, I have all that stuff on another screen. Look, yeah, that um, XTI, I think XTI for the week coming up. Um, I think it's going to continue as a little downhill slide, to be quite honest. And that XBR target at 37, uh, 13 looks pretty good as well, doesn't it? There's some, there's yeah. some good support yeah. resistance through there. And Yep. Uh, interesting yeah. oh, again, huge, the, uh, huge. the gap here still having a little bit of a, you know, uh, test of the bottom there. Didn't quite test the top on, on this, but came off the horizontal and just bang straight back down the bottom. And, you know, if it gets, uh, if it, yeah, that's a close below that range for 